Good morning, beloved people of God. I welcome you to today's devotion with the Daily Dynamite, a youth devotional manual of Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Today is Wednesday, 18th October 2023. Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy that have brought us into this new day. We appreciate you, Lord, and we ask, may you be with us as fast we've come to deliberate in your word. Give us understanding, give us wisdom, give us knowledge to your word. Help us, O oh God, to learn and to put to work through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today is Wednesday, 18th October 2023, being St. Luke the Evangelist Day. St. Luke the Evangelist Day. Topic, stand firm. Stand firm. 2 Timothy chapter 4, 4 to 16. 2 Timothy chapter 4, 4 to 16. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside tonight. But you keep your head in all situations and do hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering and the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is a store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will reward to me on that day. The, and not only to me, but all, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Do your best to come to me quickly, for Demas, because he loved his world, this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica, Christians has gone to Galatia, and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, because he is helpful to me in the ministry. I sent Tychius to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak that I left with Carpus. Taurus and uh, my screw, especially the parchment. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The anchor verse is verse 5. Verse 5, and I read Now, but you keep your head in all situations, endure hardship, and do the work of an evangelist, discharge all the duties of Israel. Brethren, this is St. Paul speaking to Timothy, his son, giving him admonition on how to succeed or how to survive in their own time or in his own time as a youth. You come to discover that the people of the world, that those days, the encounter they have the same experience as we do in this present age hardship did not start today difficulties did not start today persecutions they uh, they in fact they enjoyed persecution because i'm paul said count it all joy you know he lay aside everything and decided to carry the cross of christ so you come to discover that as far as this Christianity is concerned, it's not all about bread and butter. No. It's not all about bread and butter. That was why Jesus said, if you want to follow me, first of all, deny yourself. Carry my cross. Carry your cross and follow me. So carrying cross is all about pain. Pain to carry cross is not sweet. Jesus Christ is in his own time, he did not enjoy the cross. At a time, he made a prayer, Father, if it is possible, let this cup be taken from me. 
but let your will be done your will alone will be done so you come to discover that most often they did not find it easy but they endured that was why timothy was speaking to uh, paul was speaking to timothy and he said to them in that verse five let me read it again but you keep your head but you keep your head in all situations and go have sheep do the work of an evangelist discharge all the duties of your ministry so why he says so is because he knew that it is very difficult it is too hard for one to endure hardship christianity again i say is not all about bread and butter it's not indomie and egg no sometimes it's a kind of hard experience so for you to be a christian one we must stand firm standing firm is all about being steady not to be moved by the situations of life not to be discouraged by our experiences not to be not to feel demoralized by people around us that was why uh, in the book uh, the bible says that we should look unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith because things around us will challenge us things around, around us will challenge our faith things that will move our feet from the gospel from the truth from following jesus will come but in all things he says stand firm stand firm as a youth stand firm hallelujah amen so when the going gets tough tough people keeps going though you are in the world you are not of the world john chapter 15 verses 8 to 20 we are in the world but we are not of the world love not the world and anything in the world john chapter 2 15 to 17 we should not love the world I say you that wants to survive just have this mentality in you that this world is just a temporal place we have a place in heaven we have a place we are preparing for and because of this looking at the glory ahead let us not mind what we are passing through here in this life but at the same time let us continually keep in mind that the world is fading away the world will waste with everything in it but we are going to face god on the last day the bible characters are also human like us just as timothy just as paul just as our early apostles even luke whom we are commemorating today he also witnessed he also experienced hardship difficulty in his own time he was also martyred he did not give up to his faith praise the lord hallelujah now paul gave timothy some tips as a youth number one the first tip there is be watchful in all things satan is so crafty and knows how to use things to trap average youths look at it every youth in this life wants to have a car wants to build house wants to have landed properties wants to make money just as my little boy told me a few days ago he said daddy in this life i will make a lot of money a, a boy of about three years going to four years i will make a lot of money I, I was supposed to hear that from him and i said amen to him and then he said again to me that they give me money I said, no, I'm not the one that will give you money, but God will give you money. So now, when you come to discover that everybody in this life wants to have so much money. And this has made a lot of youths to indulge in so many evil practices, forgetting their background, forgetting that they were baptized in the church. They decided to face idolatry. Some of them thought that God had failed them. But child of God, God cannot fail you. But people, we are the people failing God. When we follow God with every earnestness, when we follow God with all our heart, God will always do his own part in our lives. But the problem here is that we want God to do everything for us, 
not doing anything for him. No, it's not going to work that way. God watches over us. He watches our intent. He watches our inner mind. He watches our thoughts and imaginations. He knows what we have behind our minds. And because of that, he reads us in and out. He cannot just be made full of whatever we plan. No. So now, let us be watchful. No matter what we are seeing in this life, things are hard, yes. But be watchful that those things will not move your feet from your faith as a child of God. Then number two, endure affliction. Endure hardship. Endure difficulties. Maybe as a youth, you couldn't go to school because of money. Endure it. The little work you do, faithfully, God will bless you there. Just take note of this, child of God. Endure affliction. Maybe you are afflicted in your place of business. Maybe you are afflicted one sickness or the other. Maybe hardship is your problem. You don't have money. Just keep on keeping on. Believe and trust God faithfully. Follow him and he will show you mercy in a due time. You know, God has the final say. God has the solution. Jesus is the solution. And do hardship no matter what. Number three, do the work of an evangelist. Every youth is a lively stone. Anywhere you find yourself, you are an evangelist. Hence, you are a child of God. How to prove to the world that you are a child of God is the way you speak about Jesus. Is the way you live your life. Not just speaking, but also living. In fact, our life speaks louder than our voice. You may be saying something, people may, may not understand, but when you do it, when you do practical, people will see your good work. People will see and understand what you are saying. So in this present age, what God wants from us as children of God, as youths in this present age, is that we will live life as evangelists. We will preach the word of God with our lives. We will display Christ in our daily living. In everything we do, we will showcase the picture of Jesus. This is the desire, the heart desire of the Most High God. Make out time, tell people about Jesus. That time some persons use and drink alcohol or in those uh, useless discussions, child of God, use it and speak about Jesus. It's very important and it will fetch you more. The more you talk about Jesus, the more you caution yourself because people are watching you. Finally, fulfill your ministry. Everybody in this life has ministry. Your ministry might not be the same with the person or your friend. God gives destiny to everyone he created according to their abilities. So find their own and develop it. God will use you according to your own ability. Don't mimic or don't copy any man, any woman, but follow Jesus. Copy Jesus in his own ways. Fulfill your ministry. Be patient. Patiently follow God and then you will fulfill your ministry. So child of God, take it to heart this moment. Stand firm no matter what. Let your life display Jesus. Fulfill your ministry and you will have a better end of life. The Bible says that better is the end than its beginning. You know, the better, the, the, the end of everything is better than its beginning. It doesn't matter how you started. It doesn't matter where you are now. But what matters is where you are going. So, child of God, where are you now? It doesn't matter. But what matters is having heard the word of God. Do you wish to continue the way you are living your life or do you wish to go back to Jesus and he will amend your life? Grace to fulfill ministry is in his hand. Grace to overcome, to stand firm is also in his hand. He will give it to you when you come back to him. Food for thought. A compromising youth is not fit for the kingdom. A compromising youth is not fit for the kingdom. Just think about this. A compromising youth is not fit for the kingdom. So, child of God, what are you waiting for? As a youth, why are you compromising your faith? What God looks forward to see is faithfulness in us. Let us serve him with every faithfulness, with all our heart, without deceit, without being cunning. 
humble yourself before God. Follow Jesus in the way he leads you and then you have a better and a joyful end. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks for you have spoken to us once again. You have admonished us to stand firm in times of hardship, in times of difficulty, in times of pain, times of sickness, times of affliction. You have, you have admonished us, oh God, we pray. May you give us grace to stand firm no matter what. Even those who have drawn from your ways, Lord, by your power, by your mercy, draw them back to yourself, uphold and keep them, give an equal grace to them which will enable them to live a godly life in this or in their remaining days in this life. We pray this and more through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. May God bless you. I hope you are blessed by the word. Join us tomorrow on the Daily Dynamite.